Hello class, this is a unit and a lesson on acid-base homeostasis. The so blood acid-base homeostasis is one of the most important topics you'll learn in anatomy and physiology. The blood pH um, is a, it's, it's always being monitored and measured by nurses and doctors in the ICU unit and in critical care patient because acid-base can be altered and then have unintended consequences. So to get this started, and I really want you to really strive for a deep understanding of this topic because it's so important. So to get us started, um, let's look at what is pH. So some of you may not have taken chemistry yet, so I wanna do some review of chemistry and then we'll move on to the blood pH in the human body. So pH, if you look at the P and H, is, uh, is measuring the concentration of hydrogen ions in solution, okay? Um, so the pH number is a sign based on the concentration of the hydrogen ion. The pH scale goes from zero to 14, seven being neutral. So anything below seven is acidic, okay, such as lemon. And anything above seven is basic, such as bleach and household cleaners. But in blood, we'll be focusing on looking at the pH of 7.35 to 7.45 in this region. So what is an acid and what is a base? So an acid is a substance, it's a something that will release hydrogen ion into the solution. So you have something that's a strong acid, like hydrochloric acid, they can release a lot of hydrogen ion into um, solution, okay? Um, so here you can see the hydrochloric acid is releasing hydrogen ion into solution, making the solution quite acidic. Base, on the other hand, is a substance that can accept hydrogen ion. So for example, bicarbonate, which is kind of like in, almost like in um, baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, it can take, so it has a negative charge, so HCO3 negative, can accept a hydrogen ion, and now you form this item here called carbonic acid. So again, an acid releases hydrogen ion, and a base accepts hydrogen ion. So let's now move on to looking at blood pH. So this slide kind of introduces uh, what I talked about, about how blood pH is so important in the ER, in the recovery room, and intensive care unit. And I'm sure all the COVID-19 patients in the hospital are actually really uh, in the ICU unit really dealing with this acid-base issue. And we can look at some examples of that, okay? Because um, the nursing staff in the ICU unit are going to be really checking for the blood pH and making sure um, that it is within homeostasis or the normal range. Okay, so let's then take a look at um, what is going on in slide three. Here's the written explanation. Um, again, you can read it, you can look at the figure, and then also uh, you can listen to what I'm explaining here. So normal blood pH is between 7.35 to 7.45, okay? So here in the green here is normal. As the scale tips to lower than 7.35, then the patient is experiencing acidosis. What does acidosis mean is that there is a high amount of hydrogen ion, but too little bicarbonate ion to accept the hydrogens. So there's an imbalance between the two, okay? And in, if the pH scale tips above 7.45, that is saying there is not enough hydrogen ion in solution and there's an excess of bicarbonate. Okay, so you kind of want to have a um, really nice balance for the pH to be normal, okay, at between 7.35 to 7.45. In situations where blood pH is dipping below 6.8 or above 7.8, really, is very, very difficult to recover that patient. So when you're looking at ICU as patients tipping into like 7.2, you really want to make every effort to bring them back to normal and not let them inch towards lower and lower. In, in normal physiology, blood pH is um, 
very much controlled by the body because slight changes in pH can cause multi-system dysfunctions such as breathing, heart rate, brain, electrolyte, um, water. So there's a lot of issues if um, pH is changed to be abnormal. So in the body, we have a number of ways of regulating this. So if you think about it, if pH is such a big deal, you guys are all in healthy situation may never experience a pH imbalance um, before. That's because our body is working to regulate that. We have one is just an intrinsic buffer system. So buffer is something that will kind of help carry and accept hydrogen temporary or have ways to balance it all. That happens instantly. So we have a little bit of buffer, a buffer in the body to allow you to kind of shift it back and forth to be normal. So you don't even notice that. So that's doing a lot of the work. But we also have breathing. So the regulation of breathing, um, looking at CO2, and we'll talk about the significance of CO2 and hydrogen ion in the next video. That is respiratory control. So you can alter breathing and then also balance out pH. That happens in minutes. The last system is the urinary system, which we'll cover in the next um, module. And the urinary system is able to excrete excess hydrogen and also regenerate or reabsorb bicarbonate so you have a nice balance of the hydrogen and bicarbonate again okay but that takes a little bit longer in hours to date but in a healthy individual the three mechanism really works to maintain the ph in the normal range okay so i want you to practice a little bit about the idea of ph uh, at the ions and then also what is asked and what is based in this uh, apply your knowledge. And these questions will be very similar to the ones you'll see in the practice quiz. Okay, so this concludes the video on the introduction to acid-base physiology. And the next video, I'll be explaining the equation.